gel. Oh. Oh, yeah. We don't need to 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 we don't need to edit it. It, it was a, a good It was a blooper. <laughs> it was we a lost blo- our concentration. <laughs> we didn't know the video started already. That's okay. That right there is Angel. And this one here is James. Yep. That makes us Angel and James. Or so. Jelmes in short. Jelmes. Yeah. J- a gel is from Angel and Mess is from James. So, yes. Jelmes. Anyway, uh, we're going to make a dessert. And this video, yeah. I will put this on his channel. And the dessert that we're going to make is... Leche flan. What is flan then? Flan is a dessert. <laughs> And leche is milk, <laughs> so it's a milk dessert. But no, the uh, it's a it's a dessert that can be flavored with vanilla or other things like that. Uh, the the finished product, leche flan, is similar to a creme brulee. Mm-hmm. Uh, a creme brulee is a French. Yeah, a creme brulee is a dessert. French dessert. Mm-hmm. And uh, leche flan. That is a Filipino dessert. Filipino dessert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, uh, he gonna show <clears throat> to you he, the the ingredients that he's going to use for his leche flan, and he's the one to do it. She thinks I'm gonna make the leche flan. Yes, he's the one to do it. I just uh, tell him about uh, the step by step of of doing this, the procedure of doing this. So Mahal, can you? She please? is my living recipe book. <laughs> Well, the other, the other, with the other people, when they make a leche flan, they use only egg yolks. But mine, I will use the whole eggs. Yeah, the yolk and the whites. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is whole egg. That's right. So not the shell though. <laughs> so you won't use the whole egg because you're not going to put the shell in there. <laughs> Just the yolks and the whites. Okay, that is whole egg. I think. I know. <laughs> Anyway, so he can show it to you the ingredients. So, are you ready, Mahal? Um, ready? Okay. okay. Wait, to, huh? oh, to... And now he's gonna show to you and tell what all the ingredients. Okay, we're gonna use thirty-two ounces of imitation vanilla extract. No, just <laughs> only know. one teaspoon. <laughs> I know we're not gonna use the whole <laughs> bottle. But we have thirty-two ounces. We're not gonna use the whole bottle. Um, and we have 10 of these little guys. Yeah, 10. This is an egg right there. Just a regular chicken egg. It's not a goose egg or an ostrich egg or anything like that. We have, um, regular granulated sugar. How much is that? Like three-fourths of a cup? Uh, eight tablespoons. Eight tablespoons. That's about three-fourths of a cup, I think. Mm -hmm. But that's what it looks like. And then... Right there. This one is the condensed milk. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Napa Original. And then we're also going to use some evaporated milk, and we're using Carnation brand for that. Yeah. Mostly, most of the people, they use fresh milk, but I'm going to use a evaporated milk. And that four is... And then these are the, the tins. Or the molder. Mm-hmm. These are the tins that we will prepare it in, and we should be making four. Mm-hmm. And that's our hope. So, without further ado, we're going to get it. Always ready. Okay. <clears throat> All right, well, we're going to start with one tin first. This is a very small tin. This looks like about, oh, I don't know, three and a half inches across this way and about five inches across this way. And it's about probably uh, one and an eighth, about 30 millimeters uh, deep right there. We're going to start and we're going to put it on a low flame. We're going to take two tablespoons of sugar and we're going to caramelize it on a, a low flame. So I'm going to start this. I think you're going to use this one. Well, oh, this one use, is fitted. I'm going to use the small one. Mm-hmm. We're going to put it on a low flame. Oh, about you put like, your sugar in it? About like that. Ooh, that's hot It's already. hot, this one. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. I forgot. I didn't expect it to be so hot already. So he needs to put two tablespoons. Two tablespoons level. Mm-hmm. It's leveling it. 
level. So that his coffee, he's drinking his coffee right one now. One right there. You think one, one, uh, let's see. I think one is enough. What do you, you think? think? one? I don't know. Are you, you sure? It's not my recipe. No, you use, do like this. What are you talking about? This one. I don't know what that means. Yes, like that. Like this? Uh-huh. I think, I think one tablespoon is enough because it's not it. like is the the sugar is already a lot so we're gonna for we're gonna do we're gonna make it one first we're gonna do it one by one because after this we need after this we're gonna set aside for five minutes and then we're gonna do the 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 other ingredients while it's cooling down for five minutes you think it's too much i don't know what you're trying to accomplish with it to make it caramelized. Well, I understand that, mm -hmm. but I don't know if you want to coat the bottom of it. And that's yes, all, all the all the bottom right. side. So that that helps me to know okay. what our objective is. Because mm -hmm. if I don't know what we're trying to accomplish, then I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at or doing. So if we're trying to caramelize the sugar and we're just, just trying to coat brown. the bottom, mm -hmm. then yeah, one tablespoon looks to be about enough for that, mm -hmm. and it's just about. Caramelized already. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, just about. don't burn. I gotta move this over just a bit. Finally, my husband left. Uh, he, he, what do you call this? He he joined me doing this. I think that's enough. Yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah, that's enough now. I smell it caramelized already, so we'll set it over here yeah, aside. Yeah, set it aside. And my compadre already, my partner, has already taken the liberty to pour the sugar. You can see the sugar in there. Mm -hmm. Already pour the sugar in there. So I'm going to set this onto that flame right there. I turned up the heat a little bit because low just wasn't quite enough. It wasn't quite doing what we wanted it to do. So I turned it to a low medium. Yeah, in between of the high, of the <clears throat> medium and the low heat so yeah. it's in the middle what do you call that low medium heat yeah if we had numbers about like from wait, wait, wait. one to ten that looks like one two three four five over to medium and five more over to high we're at about uh one two three mm -hmm. we're at about a two and a half or something like that two and a half or three uh oh I set that on there too long already, it's but okay. that's all right. It's not bad. Yeah. I'm Sometimes we're not perfect to make it. Yeah. We need to, once to I accept to, that. Sometimes once there's a failure. To, once I get talking, then I'm, I might mess up on the cooking. Right yes. And it's getting there. It's getting there. Why it's not in the middle? Because it was raised up. Oh. It was high. I think it's mm -hmm. enough. And so I'm going to take this and try to get the melted part into the caramelized part right there. And also in the and middle. And get it all the same color. I know. But I want to try to mix it. You can see some of it. You probably see some looks gold and some looks almost brown. And so I'm mixing together, you know, swirling it to where it blends together and it's all all the same color. I will do that. You can put this one. Okay. We got another one right here. Another one coming up right here. Let me just kind of sift this around to where you see the sugar is covering the entire bottom. And that's how I'm going to start out. It's not going to stay that way. Once it starts to caramelize and turn to liquid there. And then I've got to start swirling it around. But I don't want a big pile of it. I just want it all evenly uh, spread out in the bottom of this pan. I think that's okay because it will be melted later once we're going to start steaming. What do you think? 
Yeah, I think it'll be fine. It's hot. Yeah. Oh, ready? Watch <laughs> My yourself. Goodness, I forgot. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, watch yourself. So it ma it is my husband first doing this. Oh, it's not the first one. It was the the one that they made the the biscuit and gra gravy, the one that we had breakfast last time. So I posted it already on my channel, and this one I'm gonna post this on his channel because it's the one made this and but supposed to be also the one that he made last time it's posted on his channel because the one he made it but i steal or stole stole i stole his his video because she's a video thief <laughs> <laughs> i never i never uh, stole someone's video <laughs> except yours but it that it didn't post it yet on your phone on your channel so Okay, and this one's just about, you can see on the, on the edges, it's brown. I will and do that to the kind of, kind of gold. I like this one, it's perfect, the first one. Yeah. I'm wondering why it's not... The... Because the pan is raised up in the middle, so it's not... Uh, I think this one is enough. No, no, yeah, no. it's enough, and it's kind of spreading out to the middle right there, just fine. Oh, this one is fine, mm -hmm. but this one is that not. That one's fine. Mm -hmm. So, this one... It looks like the bottom is flat on that one. Well, what we're struggling with is uh, these little pans. They're just very thin aluminum pans, and the bottom needs to be flat uh, so that it all levels out. But the bottoms on ours, they're kind of curved up, and so um, it's putting the, the caramelized sugar just on the outside, and it's not putting any right in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we're struggling just a bit. These are uh, just just temporary throwaway pans, so they're not holding their shape like they like we would like for them. Um, you know, the little disposable pans. They don't. They don't. When you start warming them up, then they're they're more likely to start getting a little bit deformed. But I will keep these because I bought. We bought these for three dollar per each. Yeah. So I will keep this. So this is twelve dollars. Three six three six nine twelve. So this is twelve dollars. So how much yeah. is that already in peso? That's about sixty pesos. See? Sixty five pesos. So. so they weren't really cheap. You know, we spent enough money on these disposable pans that we want to keep them. So uh that's just something we have to live with that uh, the bottom of the pan isn't staying flat once we put the heat on it. Once it starts warming up. You can see how it's starting, it's rocking right there because the bottom isn't flat. Once we put the heat on there, it starts to uh, deform a little bit. That's the caramel now. Mm -hmm. It's cooling down. Mm -hmm. So after this, we're going to start to make the, 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 the wet ingredients. Yay. And we're done. See, as you can see, yep. see, it's already there. We have so, all four. See, it's all perfectly already. golden brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I dipped the tongs in there. And now I have some caramelized sugar on the tongs. When I close it, it's trying to stick together. <laughs> That melted sugar will do that. Okay. I grabbed the tongs to to so that I can soak on water, but he said he I gonna wanna, eat it. I want to eat the caramelized sugar right there. <laughs> you can see the the sugar is caramelized right there on the tips of those tongs, and I like caramelized sugar, so I want to eat it. <laughs> mm. It's not easy to. It's not easy. No, it's not easy. Yeah, because that is sugar. See, that's enough, no man. You had okay. Make your okay. He gonna start doing this. It tastes like cotton candy. If you caramelize that sugar, it tastes like cotton candy. That's why I wanted to eat just a small okay. bit of it because I wanted some cotton candy flavor. 
So first you're gonna do is you're gonna drink a coffee first. Yeah, now I want some coffee flavor now. <laughs> Yeah, he's a coffee lover. Okay. Coffee fanatic. Yeah. Now, he gonna do the 10 eggs put in the, on okay. the mixing bowl. 10 eggs. Yeah. Break, break 10 eggs and put them into the bowl. Just and and I have a trick. <laughs> People just watch these videos sometimes, they'll see me, I like to break the eggs over a knife. Okay, you, you watch guys. Because if you, if you watch this, and turn the video down right there, the camera down. <laughs> we have a knife that's square on the back side and it stands up by itself. And that sharp edge right there, that's perfect for breaking an egg. Especially if you're not real good at breaking eggs without getting getting the shells all over the place. Watch, I'll show you. Oh, where's the other knife? I put it there. I don't like this other knife. I don't like this knife. Where's the other one? Okay, I had to make a change. In 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 uh, another get a different knife. Yep, mm. and uh, equipment change of equipment. So because this one is more flat on the back side, so it actually stands up all by itself with no help. <clears throat> and that's what I want to use when I break these eggs. Just strip. Oh, <laughs> it didn't break. Right there. And I have a. If you look at that, there's a clean break on the egg right there. And a place, a perfect place to put your thumbs in there and open that up. And I can't find any other way of breaking those eggs that makes less mess. Just leave it here. I will clean it later. Okay. She promised that she's going to clean this later. So I don't have to worry about it. Oh, what's that one? That's the one that it came from oh, the Oh, it was stuck cart. in the carton. It was mm -hmm. like glued in the carton. Okay. So if you see, that's a... A, a very nice break on that egg. You don't have to worry so much about <clears throat> about breaking it and having a big chunk of the shell fall into your bowl or anything like that. I like breaking it right over that knife. And then after you do a few of them, you see that very clean cut right through that shell. Yeah, you can see that clean cut right through that shell. And you can break that thing apart without any of that shell falling into your bowl. Because that is a real big struggle for me. I have a hard time breaking. Yeah, he eggs. don't know to to crack the egg on the on the surface, doing like this, and then do like that. He don't know how to do that. So. Yeah, I always get a big chunk of the shell. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of shells inside the bowl after yeah, that. When I break eggs on the counter or on the edge of a bowl or something like that, yeah, I get a bunch of the shell that drops into the bowl. But this way. It breaks really clean for me. So if you struggle breaking those eggs like I do, then take the time, wash an extra knife. It doesn't take long to wash the knife, but it takes a lot longer if you're going to have to clean up a bunch of the shell off the countertop or out of your bowl, trying to get those little tiny pieces of the shell out of your bowl. It's not easy. So there we go. And now he's done. I got 10 eggs and it was super fast and super easy. And I've got a mess on the countertop to clean up, but that'll all that will all wipe away. Yeah. So get your whisk. Well, he washed his hands and now he's he's drying up, so the whisk is there. I washed my hands and I always have to ask before I start any piece of the instructions. What are we going for? What's the end result that we want with these you eggs? Just go, just, just whisk just, it. Do we want it all mixed together mm -hmm. like we're going to do scrambled eggs? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to mix it all together like we're going to do scrambled eggs. Okay, and here's, especially if there's a lot of it, a lot of people would just stir and stir and stir. But here's how I like to mix with a whisk, is I'll stab those a couple of times like this. And then I take this, especially if your whisk is round. If you got one that's all oval, it's a lot harder. But if you got a round spot on the whisk like this, I take and I do back and forth like this, back and forth, back and forth, and I just do that fast. And for me, that seems to work without throwing the eggs all out of the bowl or anything like this. And I'll I'll mix even even if I'm uh, mixing pancake, you know, making pancake mix or something like that. I prefer to do this way of using that. Uh, whisk because it gives me a lot more control and if you need to whisk kind of fast you can always speed up um, you can make it go pretty 
pretty fast just by speeding up just a little bit or if you need to mix you know mix it a little bit slower you can slow down mm -hmm. um, a lot easier than than just trying to turn with the wrist condensed milk yeah just leave it here okay condensed milk okay now we're going to pour in all of the condensed milk yes please okay we're going to pour in all the condensed milk this looks like about eight ounces well this is in weight it's 14 ounces it's about a cup or something like that so I'm going to pour the whole can of condensed milk. Do we have a small spatula? Yeah. The, the small, yeah. I'm going to use a small spatula right here to, to uh, empty the remainder out. Because you're going to want to use all of it. Okay, and I've emptied the whole can of the uh, condensed milk. I'm going to wipe this on the whisk a little bit. This condensed milk is kind of sweet, isn't it? So I could finish <laughs> up. Oh, well, I'm going to need that maybe. I might need that. That is still. a cool I know. And then we're going to pour in the evaporated milk. And I'm going to watch, make sure my whisk doesn't fall out. And... There's a little bit left in there. It's, it's not It's not just totally liquid. It's, it's more right there. Okay. And a teaspoon of... <clears throat> and one teaspoon of... Uh, we're, we're using imitation vanilla extract. Uh, the imitation is so much less expensive. The real vanilla ex extract is, is uh, really, really expensive. Well, the taste is still the same. Yep, the taste is the same. Okay. Oops, enough. That's all right. I love the smell of vanilla. I tried to taste the vanilla. I thought it was sweet, but it's bitter. It's very bitter. <laughs> yep, it smells very sweet, but it's bitter. I love the smell of vanilla, but you don't want to try to drink some of that stuff. Uh, it'll make you gag. So we're going to mix this together. And here I'm back to my this swirl, you know, this uh, back and forth between my hands. Yeah, make sure it's there, but it's be... And everything right well, here is gonna, I... gonna be mixed all together. And you can still see it's all separated right now because you can see the definite yellow and the definite white. So, uh, you know, we'll make sure we pay attention to the edges because the edges is where it wants to settle. So we'll be around the edges right here. We'll go back to the middle and make sure we don't have anything. We'll stir a little bit just to make sure we don't have anything that's settling on the bottom right there. And then we'll go back and mix a little bit more. And this is a very, very quick method of mixing. I think that's about it. Okay, we're going to strain it. Yeah, very we need consistent. to strain. We need to strain it so we can get all the, the, the bugs lumps. all the bugs out of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no bugs. It's all lumps. Okay. So I'm going to pour into here. I will hold. And we're going to strain. And we're going to catch lumps if there are any. We're going to catch lumps. And we only have two, three very, very, very small lumps. We don't have very many lumps. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Lump free. And now we need to put this one. And you need to use a scooper, Mahal, to put it in here. And why is that? So that it won't be... You can't... You can't... You can... Uh, get to the level, same level. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, well, I can do that. Okay. Let good. me try it without it. Okay. Okay, he's gonna try it without using a spoon. Mm. Okay, okay. More, more, more. I know. That's it. <laughs> okay. Wait just a second. I may end up pouring more. Yes, I didn't do it. He made it. 
I'm so proud of you, Mahal. Now you can make a Filipino dessert. Oops. Mm. So we should have we should have five of these. Mm -hmm, Cause we've got some left over. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think they're that's very enough. full. That's enough. No, this one is full now, Maybe this one full. a little bit of this. They are very full. That's all right. Okay. And now you need to cover them. Right there. We've got a little bit of the mix left over. Not a lot. But yeah, we could have had five of these tins and filled them a little bit less. You saw when I first started to pour in here, I left about, you know, a quarter inch from the top. And that's probably comfortable because we got to pick these up and we've got to move them. And this is liquid. So yeah. you don't want to fill that all the way to the top if you don't have to. Yeah, and he needs to cover it now with a foil. Yeah, I'm going to so cover those with foil. It. And prepare the mm -hmm. steamer. Just covered over the top edge. Whatever. I don't want to wrap it around the bottom, right? No, just until here. So. And what I'm going to do, just because of the size of this foil, I'm going to make two of that size and cut those in half. I will help. I will help you, Mahal. Oh, this is the outside? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Shiny side out. Yeah, this is very full. And it won't surprise me if we spill some of this when we're trying to put this into the steamer. This is not my first time to make this, so this is my second time. The first time also I make, uh, it was a whole egg also. So now, here is the steamer for you, Mahalo. And we need water. So this is now the four the four plan. So now here is the the steamer. Well, you can open it this to make it quick. Yep. Right there. Mm -hmm. you just pour it right in the mm -hmm. bottom. Yeah, just look at here if if it is max water or not. And that's easy. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and then we have a plug in right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, man. How many are we putting in there? Two? Two here and two like that. Oh, we're going to stack them like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe mm -hmm. you think three is fine. No. Just try. I don't think it's going to do it. I think you're right with two and we two. We do like this. Yep, I know. That's why I was just kind of wondering, are we going to just do two and leave it alone or are we going to stack it? No, we can four? stack it, yeah. Okay. And then. One, 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 you think? Yeah, I need to turn it this way. Yep. Just like that. 
Uh -oh, Oops! That one's leaking. So I didn't close enough. <laughs> That's all right. Mm -hmm. It's gonna work. So where's the cover? The cover is here. And set the time for thirty-five minutes. That's about what it's on. 35. No, it's not. It's not on yet. Oh, it's good. Okay. And there's 35 right there. So we're gonna come back after 35 minutes. So that's it. Accomplished, Mahal. Yep. Hi, we're back. Um, and now is the unveiling. The moment of truth, and I don't think we like what we see. It's my bad. So I shouldn't ask him to fill up, to fill to fill the tins the all the way. Yeah. And, and and my first thought was to leave some space in there, but then I know we were trying to use all of the mix, and so uh, you get to see what it looks like when you overfill the tins. Yeah, it's um... and uh, we can see. It's These hot. Are, you know, need to use. I know it's hot. I was just checking to see. So, I'm going to try to take one of these out. There we go. We'll just sit it down there. So, we just leave it here we'll like leave this. It, leave and, it to cool. Yeah. And we'll just see once it comes out. And, yeah, we're going to leave it this like this and, for a while. And then once it's cooled down, we're going to put inside the fridge too. To freeze it, or what do you call this? Yeah, to chill it. To chill it, yeah. Mm hmm And it'll, you know, it, it's already dense right now. Uh, it's my fault, anyway. So, well, it's not your fault. It's, because I you know, don't, want, I don't want to waste the. Right. Didn't want to waste the mix. And she had mentioned earlier in the video that we should have, we should have used five tins instead of four. So anyway, that's what we'll live with and we'll you can see it looks kind of uneven and you can see where one spilled over and those kinds of things. And um, after they get all cooled down, then we'll be able to... Yeah, we're going to put inside the fridge and yeah. after that, we're going to let's see what it's looked like. Yep, we'll be able to see more and we might be surprised. We might be surprised. But uh, anyway... That's what we've got so far. They're going to cool down and uh, just to room temperature, and then they'll go in the fridge after they've already cooled to room temperature on the countertop. Oh, there you go. Sorry about that, guys. That's all right. Yes, I will, we're going to show you later, okay? Bye. Yeah, we'll come now. back, and, and, and you'll see. You'll see the results. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. It's been in the refrigerator all night. And we're going to just see. Uh, you can see that it's not, it, it, it was like swelled up, you know, before. Now it's kind of sunken back down. So we're going to check it out and see. And let's see if it is failed or success. Mm -hmm. We're going to see. Right there, and then we want to dump it upside down. You're gonna take scrape it first. Off. I know, scrape the edges, but then we're gonna dump it upside down, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna cut it along the edge. I'm trying to be a little careful here, but I don't need to be that careful. Try to see if it just it's not <laughs> no it's coming a little I think there we go <laughs> right there uh oh there's the you gonna have a napkin thank you It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. It looks really nice. 
Mm-hmm. So it's success. Yep. It worked. We were worried that it wasn't going to work. Let me see. But it worked. Mm -hmm. Love that it's cold. Very cold. It's been in the refrigerator all night. Good try. So I'm going to try. Success. Bye.